This is Luke Paulson, the Catholic Conservative, and welcome to the News of the Week for October 14th, 2023. And if you enjoy these videos, do not forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more. With American money, Israelis are dead. Americans are dead. This was all done by the terrorist group Hamas. They were funded by Iran, who got $6 billion richer thanks to Brandon. We were told that they could not use this for anything other than humanitarian aid. And we all know how reliable terrorist states are when it comes to not killing people. This money was burning a hole in their pockets, and so they decided to blow up civilians. Make no mistake, this is an act of war, and our own government funded it. Meanwhile, the squad has blamed the people who were blown up. The same ones that never blame carjackers, but gladly blame the police. Clinton D. Programs. I made this video this past week. So many of those extremists, those mega extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump, who has no credibility left by any measure. He's only in it for himself. He's now defending himself in civil actions and criminal actions. And when do they break with him? You know, because at some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members, but something needs to happen. And how Granted, my editing skills are limited, but I think it gets the point across. It is something that only a globalist like Clinton could possibly consider. I do not even think that someone who believes that she won the 2016 election should be reprogrammed. Someone who believes socialism works. Three weeks later. Someone who believes that gun control will stop thugs. Many months later. Someone who believes that keeping kids in failing schools will help them. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Or anything else that the Democrats believe contrary to all evidence. The problem is that they do not have the same moral code. And Clinton just said the quiet part out loud. It is what they have been planning with the FEMA camps that you are not allowed to talk about. Brandon builds Trump's wall. The Biden administration sued to keep his student loan debt forgiveness passed. The Biden administration goes out of its way to ensure that the border is unsecured. These two facts are irrefutable. Now Congress has demanded that construction of the border wall continue. The work that President Trump started not that long ago. However, something tells me that he will still weld it open. Kroger's intrusive AI. Artificial intelligence is a tool. Nothing more, nothing less. It only took a few years after the sustained flight by the Wright brothers for someone to put a gun on a plane to be used in war. Tools can be used for evil or for good. I despise self-checkout as any normal person should. I prefer to interact with a person. That and it keeps me from being blamed if I make a mistake. Now Kroger, along with other companies, are adding AI to monitor self-checkout. It will look for trends and monitor people as they are checking out. If the person does something strange, even if harmless, it will flag the person. This AI is targeting honest people, just like gun control. The solution to this problem is simple. Never use those lines ever. If it costs more to maintain them than they make, they will be thrown out. Well, that's just good business. President Trump gets justice. What do Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Virginia, South Carolina, and North Carolina have in common? They all charge taxes on a car based on the car's value as opposed to what the owner paid. I used this analogy last week, but I did not have time to look up the states in question. While President Trump will not have all of his property confiscated over a judge deciding its worth, he still faces fraud charges. In the aforementioned states, the government decides how much your car is worth. In New York, a judge can determine how much your real estate is worth. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the very definition of a banana republic. Siphoning off Democrats. Green Party candidate Jill Stein siphoned off votes from Clinton resulting in her loss in 2016. Every year my mom warns me that voting libertarian siphons votes from the Republican candidate. In turn, this only helps the Democrat candidate. With RFK potentially running as a third party, Biden's handlers are scared. They are even pushing to ensure that the Green Party cannot run. They want to raise unholy sums to counter the democratic process. Over the last eight years, it is the Democrats that are the most undemocratic of all. Damn! 
Students support Hamas. What if I told you? You can support Israel's right to exist, condemn the terrorists that want to blow it up, and not commit to another American war. Such a thing is possible, and the same people that do not want to get involved in Ukraine want to get involved here. Every time that the United States gets involved in the Middle East, things get worse. Not only is the squad endorsing Hamas, we have students on college campuses in America who are supporting Hamas. They are supporting a group of people that wants to destroy innocent lives. In any other context, these people would be expelled from civilized society. Where is the Southern Poverty Law Center in all of this? Just where they were when Black Crimes Matter burned down cities. Only those who go against the agenda need be condemned. But could these people be in America? They are already here. We already know that the border has been wide open for a long time. The Biden administration has shipped illegals all over the country in the dead of night. We already know that people from Syria and those that are on the terror watch list are already getting through. It is not families that are coming through, but men of military age. We already know that there are Chinese police stations in America, and there are probably bases for these people as well. America has let the enemy in. All we can do is keep reinforcements out. About 80,000 people are crossing the border daily. If only 1% of those are Muslims from the Middle East, that is 800 people. If only 1% are those who will commit terror, that is 8 people. Over the past decade, there could be enough people here to institute a 9-11 style attack in just about every major airport in America. Are you scared yet? Failed jewelry store heist. Okay, those are two very big stories. I think that I want to end on something a little light. California may be a wasteland, but it has this installment of The Second Amendment Saves Lives. Multiple masked individuals broke into a jewelry store and started smashing display cases. They then began filling their bags. However, the employees opened fire to fill these good-for-nothing thugs with lead. As of this writing, only one suspect has been arrested. And he would have gotten away with it too if it were not for that meddling Second Amendment. Drive-by backfires. Now I bring you another episode of The Second Amendment Saves Lives. This time, I take you to Chicago, where the law-abiding population has been disarmed. I cannot imagine why anyone would want to live in a city like Chicago. You do not know if you are going to make it out alive. In this case, there was a drive-by shooting that would have been much worse had it not been for a tow truck driver. He opened fire at the criminal and saved countless lives. We need to be able to defend ourselves from all threats, foreign and domestic. Remember the same people that say that they are coming for your guns? Or the same people that will not condemn Hamas? and are letting the same people in here without any oversight. You should not be scared. You should be terrified. Maybe I'm just blowing smoke. Maybe I'm completely off my rocker, but that is just my opinion. Now don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more. But before you go, on the left I have last week's video, but you may also enjoy the video on the right.